It's a wet and windy day for the British games at the White City, and the track's no help to the runners in the three miles. Let's leave them to their task for a moment and watch Matos of America win the pole vault with a leap of 13 feet, 10 inches. America's been on top most of the afternoon, like Davis here winning the high jump. But back to the three miles, and Green of Britain's leading from Stone, an American, as they come up the finishing straight. Green's puffing hard, but he's pulling away from Davis, and at the tapes he wins by 10 yards to give Britain her first big victory of the day. Here they go for the 120 yards hurdles. Campbell, number 82, and Barnard, number 75, are both doing well. The huge Negro lunges forward at the tapes and beats his American teammate in 14.2 seconds. Another victory for the States. The most exciting event of the afternoon is the one-mile relay race. It promises to be a battle between the American and Jamaican teams. And here's Cole of America, just in front of long-legged Arthur Wint on the first lap. There's not a lot to choose between any of them yet as they come into the first changeover. Here comes the biggest thrill of the afternoon. They're on the last leg of the race, and it's America's Whitfield just ahead of Jamaica's McKinley. Just look at them, fighting it out. They're still together near the finish, but Whitfield pulls out all the stops and he's drawing away. There's nothing the Jamaican can do about it. Right up to the line, McKinley's still trying, but Whitfield wins to give America yet another victory. The British Games, which were presented by the News of the World, give yet more records to the United States.